Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special spoiler cast. This is part of the One Piece podcast. We're going to release this directly to YouTube like we did with the other video. Um, I'm joined by uh, Funkatron, as always. Hey, what's up? Um, we're trying out two new people who hopefully will be on the Wednesday podcast or podcast in the future. We have uh, Reen. Uh, Ren. Ren, sorry. That's my mistake. I'm sorry. I'll get that next time. And uh, Tifa. Hi. Um, and we're talking about a very preliminary spoilers for Chapter 550. When more spoilers come out, maybe we'll do some more about this. But, um, Rin, you want to tell us what you found so far? Well, like, one thing that we've been talking about uh, before we started recording was that we aren't sure, like, if Ace, uh, uh, Roger's execution and Ace's birth line up exactly. Because if they don't, then that would mean, like, what? Is Sengoku lying? Or something, et cetera, et cetera. Shouldn't we explain what the spoilers are before we speculate? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Right. Whoever of you guys want to do that. Okay. <laughs> Somebody else take <laughs> Funkatron, you want to do it? Okay, sure. Uh, okay, according to the spoilers that we've just found out, it seems that Ace is actually Goldie Rogers' son. Holy so, fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. That is Holy wow. fucking shit. <laughs> I think we can say that on YouTube, can't we, or no? Oh, I hope we can, but yeah. either I that could, you I've can heard, bleep it. I could always heard, bleep it. Uh, yeah, I've heard worse on YouTube anyway. <laughs> yeah, so but... ap- apparently his mother is uh, Porcus de Rogue, or Rouge, Rouge, I'm sorry. Rouge is what we came uh, to the conclusion once we looked up the spelling of both of the different words. Um, But yeah. The whole, I mean, I was talking about this on our Long Park forums, because a lot of this doesn't really make a ton of sense. The age discrepancy specifically doesn't make a ton of sense. We were just looking it up, and Rin was looking, since she uh, speaks Japanese and has the uh, books from Japan. Um, you, wanted, you said what you found a little, right? Yeah, I mean, um, we're, 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 like, as soon as that came up and the whole idea of whether or not Ace's age lines up with Roger's execution came up, yeah. I pulled out all of my data books. I started looking at Ace's entries and all of them. And then someone found that one of the SVS supposedly said his age, so I pulled it out. Right. It doesn't actually say his age as such. I'm looking through it right now. It's, all it says is that his birthday is on January 1st. But we know Gold Roger, Goldie Rogers, um died Goldie Roger died four years after he got sick at the age of twenty six. Well well twenty six years ago. Twenty six years ago. I'm sorry, not at the age of twenty six. That's twenty six years ago. So we know he died twenty two years ago. We don't know when in twenty two years he did. And we don't I mean I read on the One Piece wiki that Ace is three years older than Luffy and Luffy is seventeen, so that would make Ace twenty. See, see, the question is, when it, like, when did someone say that Ace was three years older than Luffy? When in the manga? Can we look this up? Um, or, is, or, or is that just somebody on the One Piece wiki putting it? Because I'm actually, I'm there now, too, and his age is the only thing that they don't have a reference for. I know, and it's it's confusing me a little. I mean, the the way I see it is if Oda decided to do this last minute, it'll be apparent because the of the age discrepancy and... If if this isn't in fact the case and Sengoku isn't lying or something to try and cover up the fact that he's Dragon's son or something, then the age is going to be very important in finding out whether or not Oda did this from the beginning or if he decided to do this now. Well, well, another thing, another thing though is that um, they do talk about a cover up in the in the spo- in the spoil. We, we've only, we're, we should say that we've only gotten spoilers so far, and that when yeah. the actual chapter comes out, this information could change. Yeah. But in the spoilers we've got so far, it does say that that Garp sort of tried to trick. It uses the English word trick. Toriku it says Garp was trying to trick people because a, such a significant birth as this would be a big thing. So yeah. He was, trying to, he, he was trying to keep it quiet. So theoretically. Um, maybe maybe the only information we have about Ace's age came from Garp when Garp met Luffy at at uh, at Water Seven. Right. Maybe maybe Garp lied because he's trying to cover it up. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of confusing things. I mean, what I would like to do with um, these spoiler casts is we could come out with a couple of very short ones like this one every time a significant spoiler comes out. Um, in this chapter, at least, since this is insane and it's holy fucking shit, you know. 
I don't, I don't know. Another weird thing is that in the spoilers, it said that they tried to delay Ace's birth or something like that. So, yeah. I mean, but that's such a cop out, I feel like. So I, I, I mean? hope they're not trying to say that they delayed it for a whole two years because that's just weird. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense to me. Well, I mean, an, uh, yeah. Uh, another thing I noticed when I was reading the spoilers is like, I'm going to pull up the Japanese spoilers. L- like right here. The, the person posting the spoilers has a question mark at the very end. And what they're saying is, um, it says, <laughs> Sengoku, it's, a, it's like saying, you know, uh, maybe Sengoku told this to Garp, and there's a question mark. Like, the person who's posting the spoilers doesn't know himself, and he might be speculating. Yeah. So, I, 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 But, I, I mean, I, for this is a very mind-blowing spoiler, regardless of whether or not the truth is completely there yet. Yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying is, like, if we're going to nitpick the little details, we yeah. should, you know, wait until we have that kind of information. Yeah. Not to say anything definitive. So, yeah, this is all uh, preliminary. Um, does anyone have anything else they want to say? or <laughs> it, it, even, it, it, even if it isn't true, even if Sengoku is screwing with us, for example, it's just, wow. Wow, yeah. Oka. Wow. That's a big, that's a big uh, screw over, I guess, would be the word for it. Oh, there's uh, one more picture that came out, which is pretty much, uh, did you see, uh, it's on Arlong Park's spoiler, it's last page of uh, Ace kneeling down on the floor with the two executioners over him and sent Goku speaking. Oh, um, crap. Ooh. Do, can you read that Japanese, or? Uh, you know what, it's it's way small. Uh. Like, I can read some of the bigger things, like, Shirohige Dakeda. I like that we're doing this live, though. <laughs> uh, Ine. Um, live translation. <laughs> from the One Piece podcast. I can't read the first one. But the second thing that he's saying... It's like there's three there's three sentences in the first first bubble. Right. He's saying... So it's, he's talking about Whitebeard, obviously. He's probably shouting something. He's probably you can't say to... obviously. We all don't speak Japanese. <laughs> well, he, he, I think he's trying to shout his final words out to be something about Whitebeard. Oh, Ace is shouting there. That's ah, hard to tell. Yeah, I it, think that's probably like the case. Yeah. And, and you know about this? You know, we were speculating before that it was possible that Ace was going to die after this, or people would think that he died. But now that we find out that he has his whole legacy behind him, I mean, he can't really die, can he? Okay. Well, I don't think. Oda wants Ace to become Pirate King since I I believe we all know the ending to the series is going to be Luffy becomes Pirate King. And I mean, after that, we all know what's going to happen. But we've been following Monkey D. Luffy most of this time. So I assume something will happen to him. So either Ace will become Pirate King briefly and then give it to Luffy or something, which I think is kind of stupid. Or Ace, or, I mean, Ace I, could I mean, die now and just put those put it all to rest. Or he, I mean, he could he could be a viable, another viable rival for Luffy. He's become a huge rival for Luffy, if this is the case. But then, if Luffy saves Ace, and then Ace becomes, like, I, I don't know, someone who really is, I don't know, not vengeful against Luffy, but if those two have to fight to become Pirate King, Luffy's going to regret doing all this. Oh, yeah, well, it adds a nice drama to it. Well, the the middle the middle sentence here says "Do it, Whitebeard." That's all I can tell though, because the I can't tell what the other two are, so I don't know what he means. So he's probably saying something like "Attack Marine Headquarters" already, since we've been waiting this whole time. Um, oh, you know, if he says something else in the other ones, that could change the context of what he's saying. So, um, but I I do notice something that I want to bring your attention to. Sure. If you look at the se- the the second panel, the speed yeah. bubble on the left. Yeah. CP. Uh, please go I think, on. Oh, CP. now, another, either, yeah, one of the CPs is, is oh, yeah, nearby? Yeah, yeah. Holy I crap. I, I think, I like, it's really, really small and really, really blurry, but there's enough kana there where I think it's supposed to be saying Saifa Poru, which is Cypher Call. Yeah. Oh, hmm. wow. Interesting. So another CP, either, oh, well, it can't be CP9, can it? Everybody thinks they're dead, oh. I think. Yeah. yeah well, the, the, the bubble's pointing at Sengoku, so. So I want to thank everyone for contributing. Um, and we'll release one of these again soon, probably, so I'll let everyone know. So thank you, everyone. No problem. No problem. No problem.